Hi everybody, it's Homebrew Wednesday time. Yay! Hey everyone, Peanut here from the Peanut Brewery. I hope that you're doing well and that you're having a good time. Um, today isn't going to be a homebrew, I'm afraid. Um, today is going to be this. This is uh, called um, Citra. It's from um, a brewery in Cambridgeshire. Uh, let's see, bottled for Marks and Spencers. And um, I was out having a picnic yesterday um, and a friend bought it and I was like, oh, I really can't, I, I, I really don't want to drink it outside because it wasn't very cold. It's brewed by Oakham Ales, uh, Peterborough and Cambridgeshire, exclusively for Marks and Spencers, where you go and buy all your best beers. So anyway, I thought I'd save it for today, for Homebrew Wednesday, even though it's not quite homebrew. Ah, so, should we have a look at it while we're doing it? It's a single variety hopped ale, uh, light malty beer, full of flavour with a citra hop. Which apparently will give me grapefruit, lychee, gooseberry. Oh, that looks good. Let's do that up there for you. Oh, you can smell it. <laughs> yes, you can smell it already. Mm. Now, this smells a lot like the Root Citra 6 that I did from, um, from um, Brew UK. Um, this was a long time ago, so you'll need to look back sort of November, December last year. It was my first extract bit. So this is an IPA. Wow. 4.9%. Yeah, definitely grapefruit and gooseberry. Really good. I've noticed I've been saying that about all beers. And I don't know if that's because I'm turning into a, a beer lush. Or um, moving away slowly and steadily from being um, what one would class as a lager philistine. Of which I am going to get t-shirts made up. Um, so anyway, I thought I would touch base and just sort of round everything up today. Um, thank you ever so much for comments from last week when we talked about um, when I took when I tried the new Timothy Taylor uh, clone that I've done. Um, Frenchie uh, Grant Baker. I'm just reading these off of here. Chris Fogg, uh, sorry, Chris Frog, um, and Andy's pet uh, all replied and were really really sweet. Um, it looks like it's diacetylate that's making it taste butterscotchy because I didn't aerate my wort as much as I should have done um, which seems to be good Grant Baker says there's always something in the water well this is true it just helps to know what it is thank you very much for that you're absolutely right um, and I think I'm going to do some testing on it um, I obviously have some aquariums and stuff like that, so I'm going to do my pH and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to certainly check my pHs and see whether or not they all come in, or where they come in. Um, so that was from last week. Um, the week before, which was a bit of a fuss because I forgot to push the, the old publish button. Um, again, I got um, some really nice comments. Uh, Mark Ennor. Um, who's got the Timothy Taylor on his list. I would say do it, absolutely do it. Mine's a lot darker than it should be. Um, and I keep going back to, I think either I'm not sparging enough water for my setup, because my setup is quite confined, um, or I might, I might next year, 
um, or the end of this year, look at getting a bigger cooler box to have more flow and more freedom of, of liquid in there because I think I'm making it just that little bit too strong. Um, uh, John Harris, thank you very much. Um, I'm not using a vase, I promise. These are Marks and Spencer's glasses. They were a pound each, and I got eight of them, and I love them. Um, but they're not. They do. They do actually double up as a vase if I want them. This is really good. I wish I could brew this. I need to work out what it is. I need to brew this. This is good. Um, and I've started watching The Old Farts Brewery. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, um, go onto YouTube and look up Old Farts Brewery. Um, <laughs> it's really cool. And he's absolutely the sweetest guy ever. And I think that's wonderful. Um, and some encouragement to go into SJ Poor for next year. Wow. And I think I will. So, what else? Um, I think that's about it. I was just looking at the week before, but I, I think that's about it. I think I've got most of the stuff I wanted to say thank you for um, over the recent um, recent comments on my YouTube. Um, Norfolk Hillbilly um, is in there as well, and I think um, and I've been watching quite a lot of him. Um, some updates on the Spring Smash Off 2014. Um, the review I was absolutely dreading has been posted, and it was posted a couple of days ago. Um, there are some, would you call them? I, I think there are there are some really experienced brewers out there, and I was watching them quite a lot before I I started brewing. Um, one of which is Harry Brew, and the other one was uh, Tony Yates. Um, and the pair of you um, and Harry Brews came up last week um, for the Kent Reminiscing, and he was actually really kind. And it was a, it was a great review. Um, I did, again, the whole all the way through all the reviews um, was absolutely the same thing, which is tweaking up the bitterness which I, I completely got um, and I'm thinking of actually doing another batch in the next couple of weeks and doing exactly that and maybe taking down the alcohol just a little bit so I might do I think I did four and a half kilos or five kilos of grain and I think I might back that right down um, to about four or three and a half but using the same water volumes um, and then the bittering, which is, as you know, Brambling Cross. I think up at the end, up at the uh, up at the beginning of the boil, up at the end. But I'm still going to do the stepped additions every 20 minutes because I think that's what gave it that blended flavour. Um, and I, you know, that I've just done the Kent Reminiscing too, which had a little bit of crystal in it, uh, crystal malt in it. Um, but the flavour the hop flavouring is very different on, on, on that and that was just two additions, one at the top, one at the bottom. The other thing that I think I'm absolutely going to do and I must think about it quite soon is actually um, a wall chiller. I didn't really want one. I, I, I've, as a single, uh, living as a, as a, um, as one person in a flat, I, I watch my water, I'm on a water meter and I just, there was something about just running water down the drain. And then I watched, I'm pretty sure, um, Brewmaster Ben uh, last week or the week before, who actually um, used the hot water out of the wart chiller to wash down his mash tun and, and, his, and, his, and, his, and his other bits and pieces. Um, and I'm going to nick that idea, Ben, because I think that's a really, really cool idea. Anyway, that's a very quick update. It says on here that I've been talking for nine minutes. I can't believe that. I don't talk at all. This, another quick plug, is the Citra IPA from Marks and Spencers. I would seriously go out and get it. Um, for those of you who are new to brewing or, like me, are just only finding your feet, 
go get it because you know what the hop is. You know it's a citra hop. Taste it. It's not blended with anything else and you get a pure flavor base of, of, of citra and it's a great beer. And then you can go away and go, oh, I know what I could do that with. Um, it's really strange. It's also got the, 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 um, the citra hop when I did the, the Root Citra 6. It was the very first time I'd ever opened hops, ever. And it's still got that smell. And I'm just going back to that sort of November, December time when I did it. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. And it really is. And it just takes you straight back there. It's a great, great summer drink. Anyway, that's it from me at the Peanut Brewery. Um, a big thanks to Harry Brew 69 for such a, a really nice review of my um, entry into the Spring Smash Off. Um, I wish you all the very, very best. Have a great week. It's going to be hot, hot, hot. Well, it is in the UK. And when we say hot, you know, no more than about 30 degrees, you know, not really hot. Um, and I will see you next week. Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everyone.